On December 25th, we celebrate the birth of Jesus. It's Christmas Day. And throughout the month, we might sing the 12 Days of Christmas. It's a fun song to sing. Most of us know the Frederick Austin version that was written in 1909. But what do the 12 Days of Christmas mean? Well, the song originally was a fun song, right? And certainly we all enjoy it because of the, the many repeating verses and we all love to sing of five golden rings. But could we find some similarities, some correlations, some symbolism between the choruses and the things that we believe? That's a good question. So now we are at day six and day six of our December devotional takes us to six geese a laying. Six geese a laying, what could that represent? Well, tradition says that this represents the six days of creation, the first week where God makes the world. Now, you might argue and say, well, wait, there are seven days in that first week. Yes, but there are six days of creation. On the last day, God rests. So this means that each egg is a day of creation. It's a brand new thing when God hatched or when he formed the world. You know, when we look at nature, we can remember God and that he created it. Nature can be awe-inspiring, even to the point of being incomprehensible. When you look at the riches of a sunset, or you marvel at the twinkle of stars, or how diverse all the animals are, they are all a testimony to our creator and designer. The details of nature, they reveal thoughtfulness and creativity. And it's really difficult to imagine how such beauty could have come to existence without God. So seeing God's creation can invite us into a deeper appreciation for God. And in nature, when we are surrounded by his creation, we do feel closer to him. That's the beauty of creation. It is a reminder of God. And when we respect or honor any part of God's creation, whether it be an animal or a person, we are seeing the value in the things that God created. And by doing so, we are admiring our creator. Merry Christmas.